So we're going to get right into it with a warm-up run, getting as fast as possible as we need to so that can correlate to a good, flexible state for our workout. Moving into set number one, we're going to start off with a compound exercise, executing the squat. You want to make sure you sit down into it with the curls, keeping the elbow nice and tight. And we're going to do a shoulder press at a 45 degree angle for our first exercise in set one. Then we're going to move to a commando march. And this is pretty simple, mainly just making sure your um, back stays square, your hips are tucked in, and your feet are shoulder width apart. Now with the pull-ups, these are standard pull-ups going four sets of six. If you need to, you can modify by using a band for doing lateral pull-downs or negative pull, uh, not sorry, negative pull-ups. Set number two. We're going to do some knee lifts with the dumbbell curls. Uh, basically just dorsiflexing the foot. Once again with the curls, making sure the elbows stay in tight and engaging the core as we execute. Then we're going to move to lateral lunge with leg lifts, getting as much speed as possible on this. You'll go 15 seconds to the left and then 15 seconds to the right, being sure to sit down into the glute uh, before you come up with the squeeze after doing the squat. Here we have back pulls and the main thing is just squeezing the rhomboids which is the upper back, making sure the, core, the your abdomen is flat on the floor and the feet will be up slightly to help the lower back. Set number three, we're gonna start here with a plank and reach under. The main thing is just making sure your shoulders are in alignment. Your feet can either be staggered or stacked as you can see mine is stacked. It all depends on what helps you for balance. Then we'll go with a dumbbell row and a shoulder press. And then you're just keeping your back straight, your core engaged, that elbow in nice and tight, breathing as you execute the movement. Then we'll go to a commando shuffle, starting with the hands, once again, keeping the hips down and then moving to the elbows. Halfway through this, um, you will switch sides as you execute this movement. Moving into our finisher with jump squats, okay? And these are jump squats for speed, so get in as many as you can at 15 second interval, modified to a speed squat if you feel the need. 